What is up YouTube and welcome to this, this Avengers 4, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Phase 4 MCU video. So if you're new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. So Kevin Feige has made some very interesting comments about where they'll be going next with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now considering the fact that, well, there's a lot to happen between now and then, we've got Ant-Man and the Wasp. We've got Captain Marvel. We've got the biggest, baddest movie on the planet, the Ronda Rousey of movies. We have got Avengers 4, which is set to change everything. But there was a very, very interesting part and piece of casting that was made for Avengers 4, and that is an updated older version of a character we've already seen in a MCU movie. And that is, of course, Cassie Lang. Cassie Lang will be returning in Ant-Man and the Wasp, which I'm not getting till next month. Thank you, World Cup. But England, football's coming home. Uh, this is this is hope. But it, it's just me coping with the fact that if they win, what well, England that is, maybe it's worth having to wait a goddamn month for Ant-Man and the Wasp. You have no idea how frustrating this is. Because not only is it the fact that we've got to wait for a Marvel movie, 2015's Ant-Man and the Wasp, I absolutely loved it. I've been a Paul Rudd fan since Clueless. I love the guy. I adore the guy. And it's one of the most interesting ways and changes that they've done with one of the Marvel characters. But I've got to wait. So Cassie Lang will be returning here in Ant-Man and the Wasp. I've got to wait. I'm not going to... I'm going to stop ranting there about that. But she will be returning nonetheless. And Karen Feige has made some comments that she will be looking towards this in this movie, looking towards the idea of possibly becoming a superhero in the future. Of course, every kid has dreamed, well, when I was a kid, dreaming of being Spider-Man. And, well, maybe there's a bit of that. But the fact that she's been cast as an older version of herself a in an age where she could theoretically actually become a superhero, considering that Peter Parker is swinging around New York, well, there is that option nonetheless. So, what is curious is that Cassie Lang was actually part of a super team. One of the most interesting super teams in recent years, and that is the Young Avengers. The Young Avengers, a splinter off of course, well, the Avengers, and later on in her life, Cassie Lang decides to run away. She wanted to join the Runaways, which is a fantastic TV show. And I have to say, the broad spectrum now of Marvel TV is stunning. Let's forget Inhumans ever happened, but Cloak & Dagger is stunning. I absolutely love that. But the Runaways, she didn't join them. So that's enough about the Runaways. She decided to join none other than the Young Avengers, like I said. And interestingly, she was joined, or kind of almost recruited, by Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop being the ward and the young and subsequently new version of Hawkeye. So the Kevin Feige said that they are planting the seeds for new super teams. He's planting the seeds for the young Avengers. Now Kevin Feige has also said that he wants to look forward to creating new super teams and new franchises. So of course we do have the Avengers that is one team. The Guardians of the Galaxy are like their own sub-team within the MCU Avengers sphere. But we could see new teams coming. He's mentioned that he actually wants the power pack. So, what if these kids are inspired by Infinity War to take up arms and become their these characters themselves? So, what if Cassie and Avengers 4, they time travel and go to the future and see a future version of Cassie Lang being the one and only and person in existence she might be inspired by possibly hope van dyne's death and then she becomes because obviously she's gonna be a victim of that snap isn't she so i think that that's where that's gonna go next will we see kate bishop i'm not too sure hawkeye we haven't even seen hawkeye infinity war so i'm not too sure the possibility of kate bishop being set up but they're planting the seed so this isn't simply me saying that the young avengers will be set up directly in phase four no they will be planting seeds to come back to later on which they've always always done of course we saw captain america's shield we've seen callbacks to avengers 
One, setting up future things. Of course, Thanos was set up in that movie. So they're just setting the seeds, or sowing the seeds, so to speak, so to speak, for future movies and franchises. And when they, with the fact that they're moving towards more diverse characters, having a female group, that'd be pretty badass, wouldn't it, as well? But I mentioned briefly their time travel. So one which is really interesting is the fact that time travel is being heavily, heavily rumoured for the upcoming Avengers 4. So what could they actually do? The Quantum Realm and Captain Marvel are key to the key wins here for Avengers in Avengers 4. So the Quantum Realm and, of course, Captain Marvel being a huge thing. Now, what if the Quantum Realm could be used to time travel? Now, I'm ruling out the idea that it could be different dimensions. I don't really like that idea. It goes against what's currently happening in the comics. Now, the time travel could work really, really well because they could use the bath technology that was in Civil War at the start to find out key points of where and when these actual stones were and what the best optimal point would actually be. So if our team went back in time to say the Battle of New York where we've seen the we've seen Hulk, Scott Lang, we've seen Captain America in his original outfit, we've seen Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man in his original suits as well, kind of his Black Sabbath outfit. Well, they, they could look up to the sky, go straight through and steal whatever stones that he had on him at the time or even go back in time and simply destroy Thanos straight away because they could be that desperate. And to me, I think going Barry Allen Flashpoint, half the population being killed, yeah, I think that is a, a good idea to go and do that. That's when that's acceptable, in my opinion, to go back in time and end that. So we could see versions of Thanos. We could see the young and the ruthless version. So, of course, this was many years ago. And we could see Gamora and Nebula actually fighting the Avengers because they had, well, at least Gamora hasn't been convinced by Peter Quill. Nebula is still f kind of fiery and wiry and wanting to have her surrogate father's approval. So I think that'd be really cool to see where that goes next. Now, while they will be going back in time to get the stones, what could possibly be happening here, and it's heavy rumoured, that Tony Stark will be creating his own version of the Infinity Gauntlet, so he can get each one of these stones, use his own gauntlet, and get the Incredible Hulk, to actually use it for himself to snap his fingers and undo the work that Thanos has actually done. But another thing with Ant-Man and the Wasp is the fact that Lawrence Fishburne may have dropped a bit of a clangor. Now, Marvel are very big on their spoilers. They want no spoilers to ever occur, which, yeah, that makes sense. But Lawrence Fishburne has mentioned his role of Goliath, and he has butted heads with Hank Pym, and while Hank Pym in the MCU ex existed for years, he has existed for years, and that is why I said it's one of the most interesting takes on the MCU, because Hank Pym is a OG founding member of the Avengers. So with that in mind, we will actually see the older version of him, and he's had many years of being Hank Pym and in the comics he met the Goliath or what the dude that became the Goliath and well they in this version have butted heads and spread apart now he's actually kind of a father figure to the movie's villain Ghost so what if Ghost was actually trying to steal the technology of the quantum realm or whatever it was whatever the technology that she tried to steal but get zapped by quantum realm Rays, if that's a term. Well, that could possibly mean that he is a secret villain of the movie. So let me know what you think in the comments down below on all that I've said. Please do subscribe down below if you're interested. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.